Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly of a project I had been working on. And I say that because I've had success in the past, but this time, I don't know, things didn't go so well. So, it's about resin. Now, one thing I want to say, if you've ever mixed two-part resin, and I'm going to show you the pretty much empty bottles here that I used. It's an amazing clear cast. I don't have the carton anymore, but I've had good luck with this. And you um, mix them even, you know, so two ounces, two ounces, and then you stir for a couple of minutes. And I've always had pretty good success with it. One thing that I do is I, I always have like a little side thing because it's hard to know how much that you're going to pour. So, for instance, like these, this is vinyl flooring. This is some upcycling that I have done. Now, I had used embossing powder on these, chunky embossing powder, and just stamped a peace sign and everything and, and proceeded on. And I've given lots of these away as goodies. So I had some the other day left over, and I thought, well, let me cover those um, magnets. And I think this is um, countertop sample is what I believe that was. And then the other thing is, is I have um, some magnets, and I decided to um, cover up some cover up a magnet that I had actually stenciled from a retreat I had gone to in the past. The other time I have used resin. As I have made my own clay tiles in the past. Now, granted, I have a long way to go. Lots to learn. This one is not really so bad. My tiles are about the same depth. But this one is a tray that I've done. See if I can get the glare off of it. And as you can see, my tiles are kind of all over the place. But I have sold these. And in this is resin. So it's worked out good for me in the past. Then. I had this idea this time that I have a bunch of, let me reach down here and get them. I have a bunch of, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sand dollars in my attic. Now, these are a little nasty. Um, these sand dollars I actually dove for. It, it's been many years ago. But I actually did that. And um, I had one year taken my Christmas tree and put nothing but little white lights on it. And then tied different sized bows on the sand dollars. And just white lights and sand dollars hung on my Christmas tree. I have to say, it was beautiful. Now, these are a little funky because... Whoops, there's an example. The hooks the Christmas tree hooks that were on them are just disintegrating and they're leaving rusty spots on them and that's what this rust is so you know I've taken some off of the ribbons and stuff already but I probably have three times this many still to go so I thought okay well I have all of those let me do something well here's the first step <laughs> get this in here my first step was to take a sand dollar and I used um, extreme glitter see if we can focus here extreme glitter and this one was the silver and I just went on top of what they call the star that's in the starfish just to kind of highlight it a little bit differently and I think you can see that then I just took extreme glitter. This is the um, hologram color, which I love. It just really just puts sparkles on it. And then I went all over. There's a little bit of rust, but that didn't bother me any. So I hope you can see the shimmer and the shine on these. I hope, I hope. It is there. So I did six at a time because... Let me show you this now. I purchased a mold off of Amazon. 
And this is where you're going to see a little bit of stuff went awry. I poured a little bit of resin inside of each one of these coaster molds. And then my decorated sand dollar that was all sparkly, I laid in there. Well, then I mixed up another batch of resin and poured on top. Well, one thing that I know now is the first pour that you do, let it sit for a little while, maybe a half hour or so. And then you can probably gently push the sand dollar into the resin that is already starting to set. It will be like gooier rather than pretty much liquid the way I tried it. So when I poured the other resin on top of it, they started to float. They are so light, nothing to them, that then they wanted to sit up on top of the resin. Well, that can't be because, let me get one again. They are, you know, they have a mound on them. Let's see, there you go, you can kind of tell. And so they need to be there. They need to be below the surface where the resin would sit on top. Excuse me. <coughs> and anyway, so that was kind of some of my errors where they started. And with this right now, I'm going to, I have a Kleenex box that I keep rubber gloves in. Is that giving you another hint? <laughs> I am not kidding. I have found out through this lesson, trying to make these coasters with these sand dollars, that resin is the stickiest substance on the face of the earth. No doubt. So here we go. Here we go. I thought I'd lay them, once I put pulled them out, I thought I'd lay them on a silicone mat. Well, this one is not really so bad. It, yeah, there it's, it's a little tacky around the sides. Now everything I touch with that thumb is going to be bad. But overall, this is nice. Like I said, it's got some places on the side that probably if I sand it would be okay. But then I have other another one, this one right here in particular. It has gone through my silicone mat, through the placemat. This is the tackiest, the nastiest. See? And this has been out here for a week. Now, I have to say the part that, excuse me, I'm pulling. The part that has dried... I mean, it's, you know, from where I've touched others, it's pretty good overall. But it is so nasty tacky. Now, I don't know where I went wrong. I did even amounts like I've always done. And, you know, my other ones, well, now my gloves are going to be tacky. But I've done other ones that came out fine. <laughs> um... I need to get these off or I'm going to ruin just everything that was okay. Um, so, I don't know. But I wanted to show you that, I mean, I think that they are beautiful. I just, I really like them. They're, you know, they serve the purpose of what I was trying to do. And I'm still getting some tacky here. Um, I don't know. I really like them. Now, I don't know whether to proceed on. I've learned my lesson. Um, but I did want to show you. I mean, you can see the glimmer in them. They are pretty, um, clear overall. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's got its good and it's bad. And, and now I'm really sticky even on my fingers. Um, the way to get the tacky off is to use the 91% um, isopropyl alcohol. And that's the only thing that I have found that will cut the tackiness. Now, I figure these that are good, these four up here that are good. This one I'm not so sure about yet. Plus, I see some air bubbles. Um, 
I'm going to probably move them to something else. I have some other really good um, silicone mats and see if I can finally get these to dry. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you, is this an epic fail? Eh, not necessarily epic, but it's pretty high on the list of fails that I have done. So it's storming here in Georgia and I just thought I'd pop in and show you about this. I'm not even sure now I can click on my mouse to turn off the, the computer, the video camera. So anyhow, I, but I've always promised the good, the bad, and the ugly. And this was something that I had worked on. So I've got a little bit of good, but I got a lot of bad and ugly. Um, so anyhow, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, you never know what I'm going to be up to. And I'll catch you down the road. Talk to y'all later. S sticky and everything. Behave. <laughs> Bye.